All right, so there's something I got to show you guys. This, this is the music room. To keep it short, my dad is a massive audiophile. Music has been one of my dad's biggest passions his whole life, and this room reflects that. I love it, he loves it, so I figured it needed to be shared to the world of TikTok. All right, let, let, let's talk about some of this equipment now. Let's just start off with the big hitters. This is the Klipschhorn AK-6. Uh, Paul Klipsch originally designed these in the 40s, and this specific model is the mid-80s. Here's actually the price of an AK-2, this model. So even though these are nearly 40 years old, audiophiles to this day still love the Klipsch horn. I'm just, I'm just gonna stand next to the speakers to give a reference. So I am, I'm about six feet, give or take, probably take. Um, these things are huge. Like, this is my shoulder. The reason this nearly 80 year old, at least in concept, speaker is still so revered is because of its incredibly accurate studio replication of the sound. These are his subwoofers. These are the Velodyne DB 15 inch subs. These are actually more revered in home cinema circles than audiophile circles, but they still are insane. Here's a price to show you. <laughs> Onto the stack of audio equipment. These are the Yamaha M80 power amplifiers. These still go this high and they are from the 80s. And they're just a power amplifier. And him pairing these with the Klipschhorns is really smart because these are both really known for their high efficiency. By that, I mean the power consumption to loudness ratio. Essentially, you can barely be pushing any watts and have very loud sound. It's Yamaha all the way. These are the CX8500. This is probably his newest piece of audio equipment. I think these were released in like the 2000s. Here's a price. This thing is a beast. It has like five fucking billion outputs on the back. Essentially, it actually connects to the TV via the uh, HDMI output and runs a program. So everything, all audio runs through this. The TV is useless when you use this thing. All right, last one. These are his pair of EQs for the left and right channel. It is the Audio Control C131. Here's a price, of course, times two. If you don't know what equalizers are, I don't fucking blame you because this is peak audiophile bullshit. <laughs> All right, this is gonna be an awful explanation, but basically what they do is you are essentially equalizing a room. You're changing the frequencies to bounce around the objects in the room so you get a perfectly crisp and clear sound. So it's a lot of equipment and it's a lot of money, but is it fucking awesome? Yeah, it's awesome. This thing right here in rainbows from the basement sounds incredible down here. Anything sounds incredible down here. It literally, it's like listening to music for the first time. So yeah. I don't know. I've grown up with this music room. It's incredible. I'm really lucky to have grown up with it. I hope one day that maybe my dad will like pass down some of his stuff because he's got a lot of other stuff. Let, let me know if you want to see all the other fucking clip stuff in his house. All right now. Bye bye. Enjoy this picture of my turntable.